three points today against Carrick. Yeah, um, it, it was a great, uh, it, was, it was a great result. Um, I don't really think the performance went hand in hand with it. I thought in the first half it was probably our worst performance this season. Um, we gave the ball away repeatedly. Um, we were sloppy in possession, and, and we near paid the price. Carrick had a couple of half opportunities in around the, our goal mouth, and had they taken it, it wouldn't have been undeserved for them. So. Um, it, it was a strange game, but then all of a sudden we find ourselves one 0 up with John McGovern's goal from free kick, um, getting across the, uh, getting across the box, um, and then Keenan Dillon does what Keenan Dillon does. He he hits a wonder strike and finds a top corner, and you find yourself two 0 up. Obviously, then whenever the red card comes about, it it makes things a little bit easier. But sometimes sometimes ten men can be hard to play against. And what we did try to do was concentrate, moving the ball quickly, and keeping it simple, and trying to draw carry carry out. I thought the second half was, was very, very good and was very happy with it. We go and score another two goals, so pleased. You have to mention Patrick again, another clean sheet for him. And he deserved it at the end because um, we were sloppy. We, we switched off for a, for a straight ball down the channel. Curtis was running behind us and, and drifted the ball into the box. And Emmett McGuckin has near scored only for Patrick making two good saves. So delighted for Patrick. Um, he deserves his clean sheet and, and the rest of the lads can be thankful for him for that. I think it's been a long time coming. We haven't had a great record against Carrick over the last few seasons and a lot of supporters happy today. Yeah, um, it's all about three points, isn't it? It's all about trying to win as many games as we possibly can. Uh, I don't overly look at um, past results. I don't overly worry too much about them because it's, it's all in the past. This is this is the now, so we have to focus on it. Um, and it was it was just nice, it, irrespective of who we beat today, it's, it's just nice to get another win and another clean sheet and, and we'll take those. As you say, we don't get carried away with results and things like that, but we have to admit it is nice to be sitting in the position we're sitting in at the moment. Massively, massively. I, I, I hugely doubt that we'll be sitting in it at the end of the season. There's a lot of good teams in the league. It's a very competitive league. We've, we've been picking up points, and, and it's massively important at this moment in time that we continue on picking up points <coughs> when we're in the, a, a rich vein of form. Uh, having said that, our next league game's away at Lawrence, so it's a, it's a tough one. It's a tough place to go, obviously, with the league champions. So, We'll challenge ourselves that we can go there and be competitive and see what we can get. Yes, um, before our league game against Lauren, we're at home on Tuesday night against Port Stewart in the Bet McLean Cup. Yeah, and we we certainly don't want to be taking Port Stewart lately. It's a it's an opportunity of progressing to the, I think it's the last 16 of the League Cup. Um, it's an opportunity to be in the hat um, and see what comes from that. So we have to take care of the of the game that's in front of us. Um, we probably will shuffle the pack a little bit, um, but I don't think we'll shuffle it too much. Um, and we'll go about our business in the proper manner and, and hopefully hopefully progress to the next round. But as I said, Port Stewart will not make it easy.